Hello everyone and welcome to iSharePoint All. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how to break inheritance on a folder that has been created. So in my previous video, I talked about creating a folder in a document library using Flow. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to break inheritance once that folder in that document library has been created. So let's go to Flow really quick. So here's my Flow. In my go watch my previous video on flow and I will show you how to I go over these two methods of how to create a folder so those are the two different methods um, so here is this action on creating a folder so it uses HTTP request and let me show you how to do get that if you click on this plus on here which is to insert a step go to action and just click on SharePoint and if you just type in HTTP this is what it is. Send HTTP request to SharePoint, and this you get this this uh, panel here with these blank fields, um, and that's what this is. So let me delete that and show you and, and open that up for you. So delete, yeah, delete. Okay, let's make sure I don't delete the wrong one. So open that up now. It asks for the site. The method is post, and then here is the important part here. This URI here. So it's a this is the um, REST API underscore API web get folder by server relative URL, the name of my document library forward slash and the name of my folder, and if you remember from my previous video, the name of the folder is just a variable user display name, and I'm capturing the employee name display name, and then this here forward slash list all items break role inheritance. Now let me bring over this page here. Um, so break role inheritance. I'm going to provide this link in the in the description below. So we have these two parameters here. You have copy role assignments. Specifies whether to copy the role assignments from the parent securable object. If the value is false, the collection of role assignments must contain only one role assignment, contain a current user after the operation. So not only am I uh, breaking inheritance, but I'm also saying, hey. I only want to have just this current user to have access to that folder. So let me let me make it true first so you can see so true. Let me save. And let me come here. Let me go to my list. And I'm going to create an item really quick. So if I do that. Save. Alright, so now I'm gonna go to my library. And there you have it, a few seconds ago. Now let's come in here really quick and see. Now because we said true, um, when it broke inheritance, whatever it was inheriting before the break, it leaves it in here. So my demos, members, owners, visitors, leadership. So let's go in here and let's change this to false so you can see. So false, false. And let me save that. Let me go back here and let me go into this library. And I'm going to delete that folder and do this all over again. Delete. And by the way, this is Office 365. I am just in classic experience. That's why um, I'm not in a modern experience. So let me go back. Let me go to my list and let me delete that item as well. Delete that item. Delete. Delete. So let's create one. This time when you say Isaac, save. So let me come back to my list here. Go to my library, and as you can see, it created it for me with my name. And if I come in here, let me show you. Yep, wrong one. If I come in here and I say advanced, shared with, advanced. And as you can see, because I initialize this copy roll assignments to false, it does not bring with it 
everything that we, it was inheriting before I broke permissions, it just removes everything because I made it false. So I hope you see the difference there. And for the parameters that you can use, you can go and, and, and see what these other ones do as well. Well, the, the clear subscopes, and I'll provide the link below. But I hope that makes sense. You don't need to put anything in the headers or body. I hope that makes sense of how to break inheritance. And I'm going to do a copy and paste, a, a screen tooltip, and paste that in my blog. And I'm going to also provide the blog in, in, in the description below. So I hope that makes sense. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, you know, like it and, and share with others. Thanks. Bye.